Good morning from the nearest street of Stockholm. On the last episode, we started exploring the beautiful city of Stockholm by going to the breathtaking Vasa Museum and learning more about the ship's impressive recovery. Then, it was time to eat. We indulged in some traditional Swedish licorice, as well as some classic Swedish dishes like the Swedish meatballs. And in this episode, we're going to be exploring the Old Town, which includes the change of the guards and how this grand city came to be. Oh, and we'll be trying what is supposed to be one of the best burgers in the world. That's really good. Another beautiful day here in Stockholm and today we're going to be exploring the Old Town, or otherwise known, Gamlestan. And you know what, I love how it's what, like the end of August, but it feels like fall. Yeah. yeah it feels really nice. Well, I think we read somewhere that fall starts in August. Yeah. And it feels like it. It's like a very mild fall. Yeah. I've been looking forward Which to is that. a nice break. We're not complaining. We love summer in Greece. It's like the best. But when you've been feeling that heat since May, it's a nice break to have this like breeze that you haven't felt for months. Fresh air. Surprised you're wearing a sweater. It's cozy. So right now it's almost 12 at 12.15 in the summertime. You have the changing of the guards in front of the Royal Palace. So I think we're going to go down the narrow street mm -hmm. and then make our way to the Royal Palace so we can get a good seat and see the thing. We're not going to see the whole thing though because it lasts for 40 minutes. Just don't want the same ending. I would love to go to a party like this. We've made it to the Royal Palace and it's really beautifully located right on the water. Did you see anything? Yeah, it's just like an open space. So even if you're not planning on buying tickets and coming in to see the royal palace i think it's still worth it to go through the gates <laughs> because like right by the entrance you're in this like room where it's pretty impressive i need to go here oh okay so the queue is actually really long. I think the main event is going to be in there, but they're coming from over here. experience. I think it would have been cooler if you got to go further inside and see everything. Yeah, very hectic with all the tourists like yelling at each other. So and... just get there early if it's something you really care about. But I actually thought, didn't think it would be that busy because it's every day. Yeah, but I guess if you're here like one day or two, yeah. like this is your one chance. Like some of the songs were really good. Yeah. Um, I like. Yeah. I wish there were guns or cannons. I thought that's I why. Like that's that why stuff. I was like, I'm gonna go there because I thought it would be cannons, like how it was in Malta. Yeah. It was Malta, oh, right? There's more coming. Oh. oh, look at that. Well, on that note, uh, we're gonna walk around a little more, share a little more about the history over here, and then um, grab some tweet. Yeah. 
have made our way into the main square where you have a lot of really cool buildings. And I believe this is North German architecture, at least that's what we read. Some of the buildings here are from the 13th century. However, the majority of them date from the 15th to 16th century. And we read another really cool, interesting thing, like right below all these cobblestones, actually three meters below, is where the old 13th century road used to be. It's basically as tall as me and another like, almost a double me basically, which is like really crazy to believe that the streets are that low. But I wanna talk about the origins of Gamlestan or Old Town. So I guess we should start by saying that Stockholm didn't used to be the capital of Sweden. About a thousand years ago, the capital of Sweden was Sigtuna. That city had problems with armed gangs going in and raiding the city all the time. So they needed to find a new city to establish the capital of Sweden. There's a legend about how they chose this specific place. And basically what they did is they took a hollow log, a piece of wood, and they put a bunch of gold in there. And then they let it float into the Baltic. And wherever that log ended up going ashore, that's how they would choose the city. And so it ended up in this specific place right here. Although I don't believe that that was actually the case. This is a very strategic location. And the name Stockholm in Swedish actually means log island. Stock for log and holm for island. However, stock in German is also fortification. It's not really clear if it came from the Swedish or German. I think the most popular opinion is log island. Cool fact, Alfred Nobel, who invented the Nobel Peace Prize, is actually from Sweden, so you can visit the Nobel Museum. I'm getting a little hungry, so I think we should find something to eat. What do you say? Yeah. I never wanna go home, go home. I'm living in Stockholm, Stockholm. All right, really good news. On our research before we came here for food, we ran upon somewhere that Top Just recommended. Great channel for food, highly recommend it. One of their main things is burgers. And the guy said that this was like one of his top three burgers from all around the world. And we thought it was gonna be closed because yesterday it didn't open until four. And we're not gonna be here at four, we're starting a road trip. It turns out today it's open. It's meant to be. So this was a really good surprise. Let's go have one of the best burgers in the world. I never wanna go home, go home. Living in Stockholm, Stockholm. I got a cola that they had on tap. There was another cola that sounded good too that wasn't on tap, but it had a lot of caffeine and I was not really moved for that. So I'm a big fan of cola. Let's see. see. Oh, it's nice. It has like a lemon flavor to it. It's like a lemon cola. Oh, it's really good. first with the garlic aioli, which looks amazing. I'm really into these like garlicky dips right now. Green beans are kind of just what you would expect with green beans, like that little like charcoal-y bit. Um, the dip is really nice, which will be really good with fries as well. Fries. Thank you. The other dip that was recommended to try is a mojo rojo sauce. And it's a tomato-based dip, so let's see how it is. I have no idea what it's gonna be. It's like mayo with some kind of like tomato and like spice. It reminds me a little bit of harissa sauce, but not quite. So I think it's like maybe a variation of harissa sauce. I really like these types of buns. Really nice. We've had so many burgers now that like we've had really good ones. Really good. And this is the kind of burger how I like it, where it's like soft and mushy. Everything tastes very fresh, which is what's standing up the most to me. Really good. I hope Marie's not disappointed considering how excited she was. So you wouldn't say it's the best burger you've had? It's not something I like tally in my head, <laughs> but it's really good. Yeah. And the meat tastes really nice. We've gotten spoiled with the Greek tomatoes in the summer. Let's see how this burger is. Wow, this is gonna be a really big bite. It's really good. But I agree with Olivia. We've had so many good burgers that it's hard to kind of like, unless you're having them all side by side, and even still I think it would be really difficult to say one of the best ones I've ever had. 
mean, probably is one of the best ones I've ever had. It's really, really good. The flavors are just amazing. I think the sauce has something to do with it. It's a good size, too, for the price. <laughs> We're gonna get eating and get going. Oh my god, this was so good. I feel very satisfied. I'm very impressed. And you can tell the, the ingredients were such good quality. Highly recommend it. Even though we wouldn't put it almost like the top burger we've ever had, it was quite up there. <laughs> I'd say. Now we're gonna make our way back towards the hotel, go get our salad, get the car so we can start a road trip. The city is beautiful and I do not want to leave yet. Having some coffee because we have a long drive ahead of us. We have a really exciting next few days where we're gonna be in the Swedish Lapland, right by the borders of the Arctic Circle. So I'm really excited to explore the nature there and be in a cabin. So we're about to start the trip right now. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that episode. And uh, I think it's time for us to start filming the road trip. Let's go to Lapland.